Hi friends. In this video, we're gonna study how to use the sum if function. So here's what we're gonna do. We first click on the cell next to Apple, and we type the formula equal to sum if open parenthesis, and then it asks us for the range. So we highlight the entire product column right from top to the bottom, excluding the heading. Then we give a comma, and now it asks us for the criteria range. So the criteria range is obviously the product. So I click on the product, that is Apple. Then we give a comma, and it asks us for the sum range. So we again highlight the quantity column, obviously excluding the heading and the total which is at the bottom and we close the bracket and we hit enter now we copy this entire formula down and here the result is there now we would like to double check our results so the total of the quantity column on the right should be equivalent to the total of our summers so let us check that. So as we go at the bottom, we see that the total of the quantity column is double five double two. However, the total of our quantity column is five double four zero. And what could be the reason for this? So here's the check. So we click on the first formula cell and we click on F2 to see how the formula works. So you can see in the first cell the formula is perfectly okay. However, as we scroll to the second cell and we press F2 to trace the formula, we see that the formula gets scrolled one cell down and now it includes the total. As we move one cell further down, we see that the formula moves still further down and this is called as relative cell referencing and well it's a topic which we will discuss somewhere in the future and that's the reason why we get incorrect results so let us correct this so we delete the wrong cell addresses and we'll edit the formula in the first cell so we click on the first cell and we press the edit key that is F2 and we highlight the full cell range and we press F4 which is the shortcut to make the cell value absolute. In the same way we highlight the last cells okay that is B2 to B101 and we again press F4 to make the values absolute and we hit enter and now we copy the formula down and yo the total is double five double two and let's check the total here and here also the total is double five double two hope you enjoyed learning the summit function have a great day thank you